What's up guys? It's ATRP here and I'm responding to that feedback video that I, I uploaded a few weeks ago. Um, one, one of you guys commented and said one thing that I should obviously do and, and that I was perfectly aware of is do more Kingdom Hearts updates. More Kingdom Hearts talk, more Kingdom Hearts 3 updates for sure. So that's what I'm doing. This is the first, well it's not really the first, but it's the first in a long line of videos that I'm going to do specifically for that. Um, we're going to talk about Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we're going to talk about different topics in Kingdom Hearts every week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys uh, the upload schedule for this. I'm hoping to put out one of these Kingdom Hearts talk videos or something relative to it every Friday. Especially through the month of October, for sure. Every Friday, come back every Friday for some more Kingdom Hearts talk, whether it be about Kingdom Hearts 3 or just general Kingdom Hearts discussion um, that you guys seem to appreciate a lot. I am i don't like to call myself an expert in a whole lot of things, but I'm very knowledgeable about Kingdom Hearts because, you know, I have no life and I search up, you know, I'll spend a whole day just researching Kingdom Hearts and lore about Kingdom Hearts because it's... You know, it's the fucking greatest thing in the world. And, you know, don't don't judge me. You know, do what I want. Anyways, we're going to talk about Kingdom Hearts uh, every Friday. So, and this is all an attempt to uh, create a more consistent upload schedule for you guys so that you know what's coming out when. So, for today, today's topic is going to be the 13 vessels of Xehanort. Now, this is the new Organization 13, as it's more or less been dubbed. Xehanort, now, I warn you, this video will contain spoilers, so if you have not played Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, uh, you might want to turn the video off, go watch another video, because this does have spoilers. Better yet, if you have not played Dream Drop Distance, or seeing the cutscenes, pause this video, or stop it, go to my Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance cutscene movie, go watch that, then come back to this video, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're going to talk about the 13 vessels of Xehanort, who the other ones are, because we don't know all of them. We don't know all the vessels. Uh, Alright, so here, here's the rundown. The original Organization 13 was created for the sole purpose of Ze for Xehanort. It was created for the sole purpose of turning the 13 members into vessels of Xehanort by projecting his heart into their heartless bodies. Um, now, he was successful with some, but ultimately... All the other vessels in the original organization were proven too weak to be his vessels. They were proven too weak uh, by the simple fact that they were destroyed. They were all destroyed by either Riku or Sora. Uh, several of them were destroyed in uh, Chain of Memories, and then the rest were destroyed in Kingdom Hearts 2. Now, that does not mean that all of them were not worthy. Obviously, the leader, Xemnas, being... Xehanort's nobody was worthy. Um, typically, you can tell if someone is a Xehanort vessel by their eyes. Xehanort has these trademark yellow eyes. And now, before you get confused, Ansem the Wise also has sort of these orangish yellow eyes. But I, I do believe his are closer to orange than yellow. So, there's a little bit of confusion there. Do I think he's a vessel? I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. But, I think it it's a coincidence that maybe Nomura overlooked in, in the beginning because obviously they're making this crap up as they go uh, but Xemnas is obviously a vessel and now the vessel doesn't have to be a nobody it could be anything, anybody um, because his Heartless uh, which you know goes by the name of Ansem, Seeker of Darkness who is the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 1 is also a vessel hence the eyes um so obviously he's going to make his heartless and his nobody vessels. Xemnas told the original Organization 13 that they were creating an artificial Kingdom Hearts 
in order to get their own hearts, to get their hearts back, or not necessarily get their hearts back, but but to get to gain new hearts, so they wouldn't be these empty shells that they felt like they were. Um, this was not true. What he intended was to use that artificial kingdom hearts to fill all of the bodies with a heart, yes, but it would all be the heart of Xehanort, turning them all into Xehanort. All the same person, different bodies. Um, now, what we learn is that nobodies, especially particularly the stronger ones that are a part of the organization, do not stay without a heart. They do start to grow new hearts, which is why nobodies like Roxas and Axel over time started to demonstrate emotion. Because perhaps, you know, the connections that they made caused their new souls or their new hearts to blossom much faster and to grow a lot faster. Um, and this was the case with several of the members of the organization. They were growing hearts. Uh, but, alas, most of them were not worthy as they were killed by Riku or Sora. We learn in Dream Drop Distance that there is a new Organization 13. Some of the members we know, some of them we do not. But, they are all vessels of Xehanort. These are not new contenders or new uh, potential vessels. These are all vessels. And they are pulled from different periods of time throughout the Kingdom Hearts universe. Uh, because Xehanort has been in so many different forms throughout the the uh, the time, the time frame, and and the the span of time of of the Kingdom Hearts universe, he can pull all of these vessels just from different parts of time instead of having to round up thirteen people and turn them into vessels. Now the whole the whole way, like the reason he can time travel. That gets, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Maybe that's another video, but we're we're not going to get into that. Personally, I think it was a bad idea to even go into time travel. That's normally always a big, that's always a bad idea for storytelling because you, you have so many variables you can't account for when trying to travel through time, you know, what gets changed, what doesn't. But <clears throat> he pulls his 13 vessels from different stages in time, uh, so we know, obviously, here's who we know are vessels. Master Xehanort himself, the man, Xehanort, is obviously the leader of this new organization. He is obviously a vessel because he's himself. His younger self, which is also just him, his body, it's him, young Xehanort, who is the one jumping through time to get all these other vessels and gather them. He is a member of this new organization. We know that uh, Zigbar or Break, who was, uh, I believe, number two in organization number th in organization thirteen, he he is half Xehanort, so he is technically still a vessel. So he is a vessel that makes three. Then we have Zemnus, who is Xehanort's nobody, and Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, who is Xehanort's. Heartless. Now, not Master Xehanort, Nobody and Heartless. They are the Nobody and Heartless of the form Xehanort took when he possessed Terra's body in Birth by Sleep. Xehanort possessed Terra's body, and then down the line, he was turned he was turned into a Heartless, giving birth to Ansem Seeker of Darkness and the Nobody, Xemnas. Um, so we know Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Zigbar, or Break, Xemnas, Ansem Seeker of Darkness, that's five. And we know that Syax, whose real name is Isa, best friends with Axel from, uh, slash Leaf from a long time ago, is a vessel, as revealed in Dream Drop Distance. I guess he was one of the stronger members of the organization. Um, we are to believe that he's probably been a vessel for a long time, since I believe most of the time we see him, he has yellow eyes. Um, <clears throat> that makes six vessels. Now, we can speculate who some of the other ones are. It's pretty safe to say 
that the character known as Terranort or Terra Xehanort, which is Terra's body possessed by Xehanort, is another vessel. I that's pretty safe to say. It, the only I mean the only thing we don't have to go on is the the only thing we're lacking is a 100% confirmation by his appearance in one of the more recent games. But since he's pulling the these vessels from different periods of time, it's safe to say that's one of the vessels. And it would make sense as to why Terra is probably not one of the Guardians of Light. He has to be one of the 13 Darknesses since he's a vessel. So, that gives us Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Brag, Xemnas, Ansem, Syx, Terranort. Makes seven. That's seven of the 13 vessels, so we still got a few to go. Now, the others get a little bit more difficult... However, I this and now this is when the speculation comes in. This is when uh, you can speculate on who you think ves the vessels are. Um, my next most logical choice for a vessel would have to be Venetus from Birth by Sleep. Venetus is the darkness that once resided in Ventus's heart. That was separated from him by Xehanort in an attempt to create the Keyblade. Um, <clears throat> now, here's why I believe Venetus is a vessel. One, he's got yellow eyes, which could be a coincidence. Yes, um, it could be. It could be trademark of darkness, for all I know. You know, it. There's so many different things. Namora can spin this in any way that he wants, um, but he has the yellow Xehanort eyes. Which could lead us to believe that Xehanort has already put his heart inside of Venetus. Uh, two, Venetus makes sort of a cameo, I, not really, but sort of a cameo in Dream Drop Distance. When young Xehanort appears before Sora, I believe, and you see not only young Xehanort, but you see Venetus. That is also another clue to lead us to believe that Venetus is one of the vessels. That gives us, what, eight vessels? Now the rest, the rest are complicated. Because we're running out of options of who we know Xehanort has possessed. One could say Apprentice Xehanort, but that's basically Terranort with different hair. That's the same vessel. So I guess you could say that if you really wanted to. But I think it'd be a long shot. Um, so this is where we really start guessing and trying to figure out who these, these other vessels are, because they already said they wanted Riku. Riku was an ideal vessel, uh, supposedly they already have 13, or they have 12 actually, that we know of. Um, Riku was the ideal 13th vessel, but Riku's struggles with darkness in his own heart have have made him immune to the darkness. So they can't control him. Because he he can more or less control the darkness at his will. So they can't inject him with darkness if he can control it. You know, which is basically what it's what what they're saying. Um he's immune to this. He can't be controlled, at least at his stage now. Now that does not mean they can't go back in time and grab Riku from a time where he wasn't immune to darkness and use that Riku as a vessel. Think about that. I don't remember which game it was in. I I think it was in Dream Drop Distance. That Yeah, I think it was in Dream Drop Distance. Riku is inside a monstro and he sees a younger version of himself. That more or less proves, you know, they can go back in time and pull a younger Riku and boom, make him a vessel, and then boom, you get younger Riku in Kingdom Hearts 3 as a, as a boss fight, more or less. I mean, it'd be fun. I'd love to do it, but... So, I'm willing to bet money that young Riku is a vessel. I honestly believe that, which would put us at nine vessels. Now, 10, 11, 12, and 13. That leaves four vessels that, to be completely honest, I have no idea, not even a clue as to who they could be. 
Sora, when they failed with Riku, they wanted to make Sora their 13th vessel. That didn't work out. You can't take the main hero. So, and it's, it's safe to say, you're, you can't, you're not going to turn a Disney character into a vessel. So it's not going to be a Disney character. The Final Fantasy characters, I believe, are off limits. You can't turn them into a vessel. They serve supporting roles, not lead roles. So it has to be either a former form of Xehanort that maybe we haven't seen, or one of the former organization members that just hasn't been revealed to be a vessel yet, or completely new characters that we have no idea who they are. Could be any of those. Um, personally, I would like to see a couple of the other organization members serve as vessels. Maybe the ones that you fight in the world that never was would make more sense because they're obviously supposed to be the the more powerful ones, which I guess actually would be, you already have Saix and Zigbar as a vessel. Who does that leave? Who else do you fight in the world that never, Luxord? With this, no, don't make him a vessel. Ugh. God, no one wants to fight him again with the, the cards and the, oh God, don't, yeah, I don't think he's a vessel. He was wasted space is what he is. Um, so, what do you, I want to know what you guys think. I want you to leave in the comments who you think all the vessels are. Even the ones that we know. I want you to leave a list of 13 vessels of Xehanort that we will, that you believe will fight in Kingdom Hearts 3. Because we're going to fight all 13 of them, obviously. It's supposed to be the end of the Xehanort saga. we got to somehow kill off 13 vessels, which I'm stoked. Xemnas is my favorite Kingdom Hearts character. I'm super hyped to fight him again on this new engine with the new visuals and graphics, and it's, I'm super hyped. Another thing I'm super hyped about is I want to see uh, Vanitas versus Sora. You can't tell me that wouldn't be amazing and that you don't want that to happen. And I'm sure Axel will have some sort of play against Saix slash Isa in some shape, form, or fashion. So, who, who do we have confirmed? We have Master Xehanort, Young Xehanort, Zigbar, Xemnas, Ansem, Saix. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. And then we can safely say Terranort. And odds are we can go ahead and throw in Vanitas and a Young Riku. Vanitas, I think, is a little bit more likely, but I, I'm pretty confident on the Young Riku thing. It's nine vessels. We need four more. Four more vessels. Who do you think they are? Now, the whole purpose of this is Xehanort needs 13 darknesses to face off against the seven guardians of light. Which, the seven guardians of light are very different than they probably should have been. But, it all lines up. You have Sora, you have King Mickey, you have Riku. That's three, right off the bat. As we learn in Dream Drop Distance, Kyrie is being trained to wield a Keyblade more effectively. She can already wield one. That's four. Safe to say they're going to get Aqua out of the Realm of Darkness. That's five. Also safe to say they're going to find a way to... to uh, to get Vin's heart out of Sora and back into his body. That makes six. Terra would be the seventh, but he's a vessel, a Xehanort vessel. He's one of the darknesses, which leaves us Axel slash Lee to take his place. That's seven. We know the seven lights. We don't know the 13 darknesses. So, I, I, want, I, want, your, I want your two cents. I want to know who you think the 13 vessels are. Or if you have no clue, tell me who you'd like for all the 13 vessels to be, aside from the ones we already know. Like, for example, what other organization members would I like to see as vessels? I think Marluxia would have made a good vessel. But the fact that he was so defiant, maybe they don't want to go with him. 
Like maybe Xehanort wouldn't want Marluxia because he defied the organization. Or maybe he's got some other bodies stashed away, you know, in other corners of time that he has possessed that we don't know about. Who knows? Give me your thoughts in the comments. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. It helps me out a lot if you subscribe, and it really helps me if you share the videos. Share the videos and expect Kingdom Hearts 3 talk every Friday during the month of October. Thank you guys. You're the best. Keep up with the support. <laughs>